so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can get several different objects randomly instanced to one particle shape and have their scales and rotations also be random so I'm just going to go ahead and create a bunch of objects here and make sure their transforms are at zero at the origin which they should be otherwise you can freeze their transformations if you have something pre-built so let's create a particle emitter Rotate it quick. And we'll open up our outliner. Okay, and we'll select everything we want to instance in our particle and go to particles instance. So now we selected all of these and it created an instancer. Let's go to that quick. And in our attribute editor, it shows a list of them. And it gives them an index number. And this will be important later. But everything else is at default. So when you hit play, notice that first one in the list only comes out. So what we have to do to get them to be random is create a custom index which right now it's just reading the first one so in our instancer under our particle shape we have all these options and object index is the one we're going to use right now but you know nothing there so we're going to create an attribute per particle attribute. It's just a floats fine called custom index. And hit OK and custom index. So in the creation expression, which happens at birth of each single particle since it's a per particle attribute, we're going to say we want it to be, you know, any one of those numbers we saw before. So we'll use the rand command to generate generate a random number between zero, which is the first one, and we'll go. I usually go one above eight, I think, because when the instancer or when the rand function creates a random number like, you know, seven point three. It'll still it'll use seven. So in instancer over here, say we got a seven point three four five or whatever, it'll still be pipe one. If you go eight, it just increases your odds of getting this last guy. So anyway. custom index. I didn't create it so now it's gone. This is why it's good to do stuff in notepad. Equals random number between 0 and 8. And create. Alright. So if you go play, still the same thing. And that's because we haven't changed the instance or settings on our particle. So with your particle selected, you can go up to your index and now custom index shows and now you have a random number and you can see what it is if you go to numeric and say custom index alright so see it gets a decimal but when you go to your instancer 2.1 goes down to just 2. It doesn't go it doesn't round up. Like 6.7 stuff.
still here. Alright, so now they're randomly instanced on 